Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty. It is time for another extreme mission whilst we're establishing control over yet another antediluvian rune site. Our prime team is on the case. We got that sexy new crossbow which I want to test. We also got a new melee weapon that I want to test and grill does have uh, the new grenade launcher that I, you guessed it, also want to test. So without further ado, let's deploy and get ready. Da -dum -da -dum, we landed. It's time for another set of runes. I always like them. Already mentioned they are some of the best designed maps that I've seen so far. So in order to make sure that we're okay, I really would like to check out the corners of the map. And we immediately find out that we're all but okay. We're not okay at all. And these guys do have the little fire symbol, so mm, I don't like that. Time to speed up, time to also rev it clear, and I want to use our new weapon. Move up. Oh, that's a nice little direct kill. Cool. Two down. And I think I found our uh, our uh, enemy right there. Cool, well, the golem is already active. Nothing wrong with that. Moves to here. War cries, just in case. Moves to here, gets the extra two action points, thank you. Moving to here. Oh boy. One, two. And I think we can just hide here and rinse and re repeat next turn. Good. Meanwhile, whilst half of the map is already sort of cleared. Let's shortly place our turrets. Get some cover in this direction. Throwing out more turrets. Dilly moves up. Not sure if someone is hiding here. Hard to tell. <coughs> Triplet uh, spiders will help us to stay safe. Moves into cover. And 
and protects himself. Grell. He's actually moving over here. I would love to get up here, but I think these two need to solve the case by themselves. What we can do is move over and be ready for handing over action points. I think for now we're fine. Given that we attack the Guardian, I was expecting that uh, the Golem, I was expecting that the other Guardians would show up. with Shattered Realm. Uh, yeah, we're war crying here. Because sh uh, I want rather to get the action points from Shattered Realm. Instead of Shadow Realm War Prime. How many hit points? 300. That's a solid kill. <laughs> okay. So essentially, I should. I wouldn't have even needed to War Cry. Think about it, we went up to the guy and we just started to melt him. Okay, time to test our new rocket launcher. Adrenaline rush, yes please. Holy! And he doesn't even... It doesn't even have ammunition. Oh, wow. That is nasty. Oh, wow. I need more of uh, the launchers. Wow. What a massive... What a massive demonstration of power. Not sure how good that weapon is in comparison, but boy boy, the first two weapons are really good. So, although I don't agree with the extent and length of all of uh, the missions that I'm uh, that I'm seeing here, because it's a bit extreme, I have to agree that the weapons are well worth the effort. Like, seriously, that is nuts. Thank <laughs> you. 
right, end of turn. Got a little bit of a gathering around. Let's heal completely to full. Well, it's in the same position. I don't know. They must have taken some minor damage the last time. But given that the enemies are hitting quite hard, I feel it's appropriate to be absolutely like healed up. And this team has so many also expendable resources. Like if you think about all of these spider drones, really if they would die, nothing would happen at all. Two turrets. Just move a bit further with the spider drones. I'm still curious as of where the remaining enemies are. Okay, cool. Well, over there apparently. Good. End of turn. The name of the game now is Rush Over, round one, and round two, kill all of them. Good, more drones are coming. Uh, let's see, our technician here. Just helps the remote control. And this should be good because now they can spot the enemies. to get the next turn drinks has a hard time following up but we should be okay good further enemies over here which means end of turn for us
Well, great. Good. So, that is number one. And whilst we're at it, we can move up here. Take a nice little kill. Move to there. Continue with our onslaught. Then casually sprint over to here. Kill that guy. Sprint to here. Has he put himself into a non-reachable position? No, he hasn't. Try into cover and wait for them to move up. To my understanding, he can shoot if he's war cried. is relatively precise look at that and when I'm saying it he misses <laughs> Telling me there's still someone left after all of this? no one over here and it appears to me no one over here either but who knows Right, moves a bit forward. Spider drones were great at detecting all of the enemies. I don't understand. Why there is still someone left. Spider drone in history. Mm, 
mastery mode control. feeling that that might be the case. Yeah. Alright, Murphy moves up. Adrenaline rushing and can we hit both? Potentially not. dashes can't get close enough can unfortunately only quick aim and take a shot shields are gone Over here, another one over here. And Ian just continues to move. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. Boy, they hide on all of the four corners. Spider drone's almost there. After a long, 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 painful walk, it's there and it kills. through our own comrades. Instead, spider drone moves up. Good, end of turn. He has one shot. He better makes that one work because after this one, he's going to go down.
One, two. Okay. Now. One, two. Here and bam. done. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, we're getting only fractions of experience. It's unfortunate. The new grenade launcher is dope. Absolutely fabulous. I love it. It's strong. It works. It doesn't require any ammunition. It has a huge uh, radius ex of explosion. It shreds. Holy moly. Can't wait for the two-handed weapon uh, to be available. Like the one-handed weapon is also very good. Uh, no problems with that, but the two-handed weapon the two-handed melee weapon is going to be great. The crossbow, okay. I would say it's okay. It's better, definitely better than the other weapons, but it's not a day and night difference. It's also relatively inexpensive, so I am i don't mind having built one. Are we going to build additional ones? Don't know specifically since I want Sky, uh, a Skyther as, um, as well. Scorpion, haven't checked that yet, but 180 uh, damage and 80 piercing looks like it will be an absolute menace. And this guy here, holy, holy. The one thing that I will say though is Adrenaline Rush and those weapons uh, together even make them make them even just a slightly bit better than they have been before uh, this weapon however like the pdws they are also very very strong so um, i'm trying i will try to get two snipers for dilly and for euler i will definitely get another grenade uh, thrower for shattered realm even though he does not have a Berserker as a class. And for the others, I like Infiltrator. Uh, Infiltrator plus something like Jarex is good. It's a it becomes more and more a support mid-ranged uh, character. A butcher gets the two-handed weapon, so I will produce that. I'm pretty sure this this is pretty much uh, going to keep us busy for the next 500 episodes. It feels like. So we now do have a lot of propane coming in. Research complete. Sentinel terror damage increased. That's good. Good, we wanted to get all of these and then go back. Crew of Phoenix Point fully healed and rested. That's good because I think we needed to do the Pandoran layer and we also needed to do the living crystal quarries. So once you're done here, we're flying back.
right that's what i'm talking about more tech for us and we definitely would want to go to here yeah i'm sorry but we need to play on slow because elsewise everything's just flying by medium might be an option but even then it uh, it sucks that it uh, just goes by so incredibly fast. <clears throat> I think we can directly fly here. Excavation is completed, that's fine. We're getting all of the smaller research done, which is okay as well. Still waiting over here to go to the next antediluvian ruin. Another crew caven. These guys will never get any trades with those prices. Manicore 3. That's where the team is going to be loaded on. Good, and you guys are hopefully now ready to do a couple of antediluvian runes. Phoenix Point will be attacked by Pandorans. <laughs> Can we do it in 24 hours? Back and forth. I don't know. Um, I don't know. So... How long will it take? We'll see. I will slow it down and see how long it will take. Good. That's going to happen in the next episode. As uh, this one is already quite long. So, yeah, we're going to do the potentially last scavenger site. Not sure. Cool, by the way, uh, these guys here do have a mist repeller. Which means if we build one here, we double mist repel. It's not bad. Do other colonies effectively also have mist repellers? None of you thought it was a good idea to build one? Like zero? I mean, look, at the end of the day, it's your call, right? Well, that sounds like a pretty stupid idea. Let's get a couple more probes. I just realized I haven't checked, have I? And also the outlets of um, Alaska. I haven't checked that. By the way, um, fun fact, uh, one of uh, these islands here uh, was a former US military base uh, that they used in World War II when, when they wanted to go 
uh, and fight against uh, the Japanese. And it was huge, uh, used for poaching and uh, a huge uh, treasure uh, of a pirate is to this very day uh, bur buried there. And um, unfortunately, it's quite out of uh, grasp from most people uh, because uh, the island is covered with mines. It was, a, like I said, a previous um, US military base. Anyways, thought I would just share that bit of random information. Next time, we're going to do South Pole and potentially another antediluvian ruins. If you feel like um, not going to the South Pole, uh, leave a like in, in the video down below because I most certainly don't like it that cold. Take care and have a good one. Bye bye.